Hello YouTube, tonight I'm going to be this Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas uh, Santa Jack Sprinkton statue that I got two years ago uh, from Box Lunch. I, I remember it was exact two years ago, the Christmas of 2019, and I was very excited when I saw this there. Uh, but actually I never got the chance to review this until today, and I feel like it's a great time to review something like this, especially that we are in the Christmas season. Uh, and this is uh, pretty good for the holidays. And if you guys haven't watched uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, I would definitely recommend checking it out, uh, especially right now. Um, so I know I'm definitely going to rewatch this uh, maybe in the next few days, and I can't wait for I can't wait for that. Um, this statue is, I believe, is about uh, 10, 11 inches tall until the top of the tree, and the tree actually lights up too. So that's uh, another great thing about this piece. Um, and I will definitely recommend something like this during Christmas season. Uh, and also if you guys are a Nightmare Before Christmas fan. Uh, and this is my very first uh, piece of Jack Skellington that I'm uh, unboxing. I have a small Nightmare Before Christmas section in my room. Uh, I might go over it at the end of the video. Um, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually grab my camera and go closer and show you all how the tree looks and actually Jack Skellington, the detail, everything. Uh, so I'll be right back. I guess I just grab my camera and go in closer so you guys can see everything. Um, here's the Jack and the tree. Um, it's kind of hard to see the light. You can see like right there, right now it was on. It's kind of hard to see the light. It's not like so strong. Uh, but you can see it comes with uh, ornaments and all of that. But you can see right there the light is on. Some parts right there in the top. But here's the just a simple base. You can see it says um, in Burton standing for Christmas. It's kind of, oh yeah, it's like, uh, it was kind of hard to focus it. And at the top, um, that's this orange color there's the title the base is pretty simple but uh, but I still like it it's pretty good uh, I think the Jack Skellington is actually removable uh, from the leg part right there but I don't want to try it I kind of I'm scared that it might break uh, but I heard in my that you guys can remove this uh, I don't know if this is still like available anywhere. Uh, maybe you guys can find it on eBay or Amazon or some website. If you guys search uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, Jack Skellington, uh, Santa Jack Skellington with tree or something, I'm sure it will come. But if I found a link or anything, I will want to definitely put it on the description so you guys can purchase one. This was about like uh, 70 bucks, I remember. When I got it from Box Lunch. I feel like his face is uh, well done. Here's the gifting that he's holding. I like this uh, long Santa beer, you can see the white. And you can see the long shoes, it's pretty cool. I have the regular version statue too. That he was the king of pumpkin. Yeah, the tree is pretty good. Uh, I wish the light was uh, a little bit like stronger than how it is here but I like these big ornaments that they used on the tree but the light is um, I would say it's a little bit stronger in person than in the video the video is kind of hard to uh, make it show that good uh, but still it's pretty good it's not like that weak but uh, it's kind of hard to see it in the camera but I really liked uh, how the Jack Skellington looks. I wish Sally was with him too. I seen some statues which I definitely want to get one that it's him 
with zero and Sally already like this so Jack Skellington with zero which is pretty cool Well, yeah, I'm actually curious. Uh, uh, what do you guys think about this uh, Jack Skellington statue? It's, it's not even. It's not that heavy, actually. I would say like uh, two, three pounds. It's not a really like a heavy statue. There's a bunch of other like versions they made of the Christmas version of uh, Jack Skellington, either with a tree or holding like gifts. Uh, they're all pretty good. But I remember when I saw this one and some other ones, I like this one the best. I'm actually curious if you guys have any Jack Skellington in your collection. I would like to see. And here's another. Look, let's show you all another angle. Well, yeah, what I'm thinking to do right now is uh, I'm gonna grab my camera and go uh, closer to my uh, Nightmare Pro Christmas section in my room and show you all how this one, where I put it, and how it looks in my uh, collection in my furniture. So I'll be back. I guess here is my nightmare for Christmas section that I have. Uh, ignore the time thingy from this uh, thing. It's 140 days until Halloween. That's I haven't changed it, but you can actually change that and make it for how many days until like Christmas and also Halloween. So I have another statue here that you can see right there. Uh, this is like a regular version. It says Halloween Town. It's subject Skellington. I have a bunch of characters Oogie Boogie back there. Some of most of these are either neck or most I would say some of them are like or most of them are actually diamond select. Um, but yeah, here is where I actually display the Santa Jack Skellington. Where that is, let me know if you guys like uh, how I displaying this. Uh, so yeah, I just want to quickly show you all also where I display this. Um, let me know if you guys like the statue, if it's a pass or pickup, and. Also, also, if you guys have any uh, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff in your horror room or your spooky room, I'm actually would like to find out. And also, feel free to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later.